<laughs> so you put it in an envelope so nobody else can read it. Well, if you're sending email, every computer that that email stops on can make a copy of it. <coughs> Anything that you print in an email which is not encrypted, you better be ready for that to show up on the front page of the New York Times. So buy a copy of PGP. You can get a copy for free off the internet. They can give you test copies. It works really well, and I highly recommend it. Uh, What's the website on that? PGP.com. And the other person has to have it to I, I can go into more detail about how it works. I mean, I'm a computer guy. Uh, how it works is irrelevant. The fact that it does work is what you really need to be concerned with. Um, now, there is a project TOTO to expose and end the illegal operation of the income tax system. In a couple of weeks, we are going to go to Washington and we are going to be dragging the IRS over hot coals, asking them difficult questions. Now, the government never gives us anything that they still want. If they have agreed to go to Washington and answer our questions, I am convinced the IRS is out. They don't care anymore. They don't want the IRS, and they're going to say, okay, you guys win. Except that they've got something better in the background, which I think is national sales tax. So we've got to be careful that we don't let them slip in something worse than the IRS. Um, NORFED. We've already talked about NORFED. We can take back our currency. The economy is what's all screwed up. Silver doesn't inflate. This is real value. They can't stop you from using that. All you have to do to take back some of your liberty is use liberty currency instead. Where can you use it? All of your friends. If you and I exchange something, let's use liberty currency instead. Digital money is going to be the solution to all of this. The reason that the Federal Reserve has all the power is because we are forced to use their money. Very, very soon, we won't have to. How many people here would have a Swiss bank account if they could? Okay. Why would you want a Swiss bank account? For privacy? The fact that you are the only person in the world who knows how much money you've got in the bank? Well, that's not true with a Swiss bank account. There are two people, you and the Swiss banker. You now have an opportunity to do something better than a Swiss bank account. And it is called 3pgold.com. The three P's are privacy, protection, and profit. If I told you you could go out to the internet and get yourself a Swiss bank account, it's better than a Swiss bank account. A, because you don't have to travel to Switzerland. B, a Swiss bank account, I think you have to have like $25,000 minimum. This only requires a $1,000 minimum. And three, this, there's only one person in the world who knows that you've got the account. You. The computer knows, but the computer's not telling. Now, how does this work? You want to sell me a book. You tell your account, I'm about to get money. You know, somebody's about to give me $100. The computer will send you one of these encryption scrambles. You look at it, it just looks like nonsense. And you give that to me. Well, I, I can't read it, but I give it to my account and I say, I want to send $100 to this scramble, whatever that is. So the money disappears from my account and shows up in yours. I have no idea where it went. And then you send me the book. Now, if I'm calling myself George, you don't know who you sold the book to. All you care about is that you did sell the book. Now, how many people in the world know that a transaction took place? Two, me and you, and I ain't telling. 
Right now, 3P Gold is like trying to sell somebody the very first fax machine. Imagine being a salesman. I've got this really great machine, and you put the paper in here, and it dials the phone, and it comes out someplace else. You go, great. Who can I send it to? Well, nobody. <laughs> I mean, you're the only one. It's like, well, then why would I buy one? Well, where, where did they first go show up? Well, somebody like Ford Motor Company said, well, we'll buy two of them. You know, that way, you know, the secretary doesn't have to run back and forth. You know, we, it'll save time. Well, then General Motors buys a couple. You go, oh, wow, so we can fax something to General Motors, too? And then pretty soon somebody else and somebody else and somebody else. Now, fax machines are ubiquitous. I mean, people have them in their study. I've had people say, I don't want your email address or your phone number. I want your fax number. Fax machines are all over the place. You can fax something to anybody, practically. Now, how many people had email 10 years ago? Me and Jim and maybe two of my geek buddies. <laughs> email? What's that? Now, who has email? Everybody. Everybody has email. Twelve-year-old kids have their own email. My mother has email. Even the homeless and you know the public library. The, you know, everybody's got email. In ten years, email is everywhere. Why? So we can send stupid jokes to each other. Isn't that great? It's like, oh yeah, grandma's peanut butter cookie recipe. So in 10 years we have, everybody's got email for something stupid like jokes. Now, if I told you that you could get this 3P Gold account now, and you know, like, and you could you do these secret accounts. You can buy somebody for in for something in Russia, and it's a secret. Any money that you take out of the bank and put in 3P gold, can the IRS get to it? Get to what? I don't know what you're talking about. Account? No, I don't know anything about an account. Is that guaranteed? What's that? Is it guaranteed? As long as you don't forget your password. They tell you right up front, do not forget your password. Don't call us, because we can't figure it out. It's all encrypted. Could you have like your paycheck direct deposited or something like that? Eventually, not yet. Does it draw interest? Um, that's the three P goal. Protection, privacy, and profit. And they, they haven't got it completely up to speed yet, but what they're going to allow you to do is do investments. Just like the stock market. And when you, the stock market here in the United States is controlled by the SEC. If you do trading on the world market, you don't have that limitation. You can get big percentages outside of the stock market. And so that will eventually be relatively profitable. But yeah, you can, you can draw interest on all this stuff. Now, admittedly, you know, there are only like two or three of us that got them. It's going to be hard for a while to find anybody that can transfer it. But if we can get email in 10 years, how fast do you think we can get 3P Gold? You send an email to everybody that you send jokes to, go, hey, wow, man, this is really great. Five years? Four years, maybe? How similar is that to, to the, uh, there's another website called eGold? eGold. Yeah. It is similar in concept. Unfortunately, eGold is here local. They don't do any auditing. And, and it's a good idea. I don't think anybody was, but they have been raided by the IRS already. I don't think that they've, they've taken anything, but they've been hassled. 3P Gold is offshore. It is not in U.S. jurisdiction. <coughs> so what's the IRS going to do? Well, they paid to their provider. What's that? Clip the feed to their provider. Yeah, well, you know, so it's <coughs> offshore. I know the man who's helping to organize this personally. And he's either really telling the truth or I am a terrible judge of character. You know, if I had more money, I would put it in 3 big 